he doesn't like. But I still find it very weird. <laughs> In a boat tonight, do we see a TKO again? Does he go for it? Of course, he'll try to strike. It's his tough jiu-jitsu to game, his jiu-jitsu game is something else. Phenomenal. Yeah. Phenomenal. It's one of the best jiu-jitsu in MMA I've ever seen. Phenomenal with it. 100% finish rate, eight, eight, eight fights, eight no, six by submission, two by KO. You're like, well, the scrap guy learns how to strike. Yeah. Now, now what are you going to do to him? ここ you know, the youth factor also goes to Sosa, 29 years old. The experience to Hirota, but as we always know, the speed factor goes usually with the younger fighter. Sometimes the strength can go to the younger fighter, but the power will go to the more experienced one. This one is officially underway. Rise in 17. Lots at stake in this fight here, Frank. High kick there attempt by Sosa. Wow. I mean, vintage Frank trick takedown right there. No, that was on your knees. I wouldn't do that. It would hurt. <laughs> I have that kind of flexibility. Might have to blow a hip out. But a great job now. Now look for the patience here. Look for the systematic approach of trying to get past the guard here by Sosa. He'll push his knee down in a, in a second. He'll catch with his foot. And he uses his elbow, his tricep a little bit to push that knee down on the left side. You notice, look, look how he's using his head to pressure. Yep. There's the, the pass there. Part of the pass is there, like Frank said. Slide up a little bit more, and he'll cut through with his right leg. No, he won't. He won't cut through. He's got. Uh, he's working on a head and arm choke. Either you give me the head and arm choke, I'm going to punch you in the head. Yeah, so that becomes the issue. Like, it, that, And that's the one thing that sends him out from everybody else, is that the striking causes you, you have a choice to make. Keep, keep taking punishment or move on to a worse position. And it's like, well, now you have to make a decision. Do I want to keep taking this punishment or just now have to fight out of a, of a submission attempt? Crawling up there, Frank. Crawling up that right arm there. It's going across the face now. He'll probably get a little bit more pressure, try and slide it down. Good job, by Hirota. Every time that he feels that punch coming in, he drops the elbow down so he can't push it across. Hand on the hip. Now he's going to cut through. Oh, he's got the toe because Hirota's got his toe cut on. He's in butterfly garden on, the, on Hirota's left side. So he's got to pass through. So now you're going to see. As soon as if he gets any chance, he, so is going to go ahead and pass out. He'll, he'll go ahead and uh, cut through. Both butterfly hooks now. Good job by Hiroto surviving that. Sosa faking the kick there. That a mistake by him, though, because they're yeah, not free to waste any time getting these guys back up. Oh, well, yeah, because he stood there and said he wanted them up. He, okay. he kicked him and he was like, tell him to get up. But I think he was taunting him. He wasn't letting the ref know, hey, I want him up on the feet. Well, the combination thrown there. There's another takedown attempt there by Sosa. Ooh. This time stuffed by Hirota. Oh, and a right hand landed there by Hirota. He drops him now. Gets another TKO. He's had a form of KO. Yeah. Unbelievable. Jeez. Wow. 
That's amazing. Again, I mean, 9 0, he's a superstar in the making. Great position, great job. Sticks with it, very, very patient. This guy is something else, Frank Trigg. I mean, Here look at this. Here we are thinking it should have been on the ground. Why would he let his opponent stand up like that? And he says, this is why. I'm going to throw a right hand to his face. I'm going to stun him. I'm going to throw another one. I'm going to drop him. And then I'm going to finish him off. Man, what incredible, incredible. On the microphone, he just asked the crowd, hey guys, how are you today? Telling a story, he goes, I have a very hard story to tell. Because I really want to thank many, many people that have helped me get here today. My family, my team. But I would like to give this trophy to one person, Ken Sakamoto. So thank you very much for taking care of me. If it wasn't for you, I would not be able to be here today. Thank you. I'm so sorry your mother passed away a month ago. Thank you for being here. Because I trained hard because of you. You were my motivation. He said, you take this home. Take, take this trophy home to your mom. To everybody else, I wasn't able to show all of my jiu-jitsu today. I only showed a little bit. I do want to show more jiu-jitsu. But this is not the UFC. This is Ryzen. Just a fantastic performance, Frank. There's the overhand right. Lands in his opponent. A little bit of a shock and out there. He lands another right hand. A fantastic job. And then just goes in there for the TKO finish. Very good. Well, <clears throat> you got to give him a... Give him props. The stand-up's gotten so much better. He's definitely worked on his striking. He's definitely worked on his accuracy. And he's also worked on that killer instinct. He has not jiu-jitsu. He didn't really have it that much in his striking game, but now he has it. We saw him stun him. We saw him finish him very, very quickly after. He's going to be an amazing talent. And I don't see very many people around here right now that can beat him. I wonder who rides in the ring to try to, try to stop him. I mean, I'm telling you right now, I no longer trust him. With his skills of jiu-jitsu, I keep thinking he's going to win by his submission instead <laughs> that's two fights in a row